The economic and development opportunities for having a 24-hour city is really about um, creating a uh, nighttime economy that is vibrant, uh, that attracts a lot of other industries. For example, the nighttime economy and, and late night culture attracts uh, fashion, attracts um, uh, also filmmaking, and, uh, and of course tourism. Uh, having a 24-hour city also makes what people often forget is when there's a lot of people dancing, there's also a lot of people working. A city is attractive uh, for the creative industry if there are a lot of creatives living in the city. Uh, so this is a system in, so if you have enough working space for young creative people, the creative industry will follow them. And this is something where Amsterdam is working really hard on, creating cultural incubators. I think the late night culture can really help with urban city renewal. Think about old office buildings that maybe aren't used in less interesting areas. Uh, if you could put like uh, a lot of uh, young creatives in this area for five or ten years, then in, in, they will uh, rejuvenate, rejuvenate this area for you and they also benefit from it because they can uh, have their studio there for low rents. I think what we always do is like we like to share knowledge um, uh, between our cities. Um, I think what, we can, what you can learn is that nightlife is not something bad, but you have to take really good care of it. And by having a multi-stakeholder approach, uh, you can come up with good solutions where, 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 uh, where all the residents and all the nightlife and the, and the entrepreneurs will benefit from. We don't have exact figures of the nighttime economy in, uh, in Amsterdam, but what we have is figures on the electronic music scene in the Netherlands. Uh, the Netherlands is of course 16 million people living there and it, and it has an annual turnover of 600 million euros a year and it creates 13,000 jobs, predominantly in the Amsterdam area. 